Hi guys, I'm Frank. I'm Harry Double A. And today I'm here to visit the man himself. He's a professional sprinter and I'm here to try his training and then uh, hopefully challenge him today. Make him work. <laughs> Before I get started, I have a few questions for you. Obviously, as a professional uh, athlete, how did you get into it? And talk us through it. Do you know what? It's a poor man's sport. Everyone can run. So, when I was young, I knew I was a little bit quick, but the difference was, I actually got chased by a dog. Oh, wow. I was playing a game of British Bulldog, the, as most people do, they see a dog and they run the other way. <laughs> I in true horror movie style, I was looking behind me and actually fell over. But luckily, there was a man walking past who actually saw how fast I ran and then turned around and said, you know what, you need to go to a track and gave me some form of direction, which was the main, most important thing. And obviously here we are, Sutton Arena, and this is where it all started for myself. First coach was a guy called Leslie Older, but he's passed away. But literally, that's, that's, that's the main thing is about direction and having some help in regards to where you're going. Interesting fact, I've actually wanted to uh, take part in the Olympics, but unfortunately, I didn't quite get there. It's never too late, by the way, it's never too late. Very true, I'm, <laughs> I'm very happy and honored to meet you today. Yeah. And talk us through, like, what's your uh, experience in the Olympics? And do you have any stories? Do you know what it is? The thing about the Olympics, because obviously it comes out every four years, it's so special. Well, five years because of last year. Yeah. But point being is I've had four attempts, if that makes sense, um, and I've made two, and I've not been able to take part in two. So, and the ones that I weren't able to take part in was due to injury. Last year I had surgery on my hamstring, uh, but we are back and we are fresh. Happy days. Um, in terms of Olympic experience, I would say my first one, Beijing, was, was amazing, because obviously that was when Bolt. Of course, did, yeah. Did the bulb stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just eye-opening to see someone run as fast as they did. And um, I'll tell you what, being in the middle of China with a collective group of people who have similar backgrounds, that's when I realised about the like sort of Olympic legacy. Just so many people from all corners of the world coming together and celebrating, celebrating your sport, celebrating who you are as an individual. I mean, we raped hard, you know, like everyone was of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. Like, you <laughs> like you mentioned, it is a special event. Yeah, no, yeah. And um, it's something I wish yeah. and I hope to, let's be fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Uh, to get in there one day. Do you know what I mean? Could be the Winter Olympics. I know yeah. Bob Slade. No, Bob Slade's <laughs> looking for a new man, you know. Bob Slade's looking for some people. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. wondering. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Look at this. My man can do the tennis. <laughs> just pushing around, yeah. pushing around. So before we get into the training, or the brace itself. Uh, just talk me through your preparation in terms of like, you know, how to train, how to prepare mentally. Yeah, do you know what we periodize obviously. So um, here we are now, obviously, uh, I'm prepping for my outdoor season. Okay. And then we're gonna do some um, block starts. Once we're doing block starts over like 30 meters or so, then we're gonna do uh, some competitive sprints for the guys. And then we're gonna go outside and do a few 200. So literally doing a little bit of everything. Um, and there's going to be some technical elements that you might be able to pick up on me today and then that's pretty much the bulk of my day today i've already done quite a heavy week already so i did like a massive speed endurance session the other day where i was literally i, I saw that i saw yeah. that he, he literally won like that. <laughs> and um i'm recovered i'm back um keep the load in and keep moving so i did gym yesterday so as a week, I'm probably training, I'm on the track three days a week, I'm in the gym maybe once or twice a week. I think, um, to be fair, I think coach is looking at me now, so, yeah, so we need to get to it. Let's get, let's get <laughs> it's only been five minutes. <laughs> See this, we've got to get him to use these arms. It's this chest, this big chest of his, he needs to use it. So try and do it now, continue. Perfect, perfect. He's not too bad, he's not too bad. You gotta remember, I'm a pro out here. My guy's doing well to come and come and have a go at this, you know what I mean? How's he doing so far, Jack? He's doing well, man, he's doing well. Coordination is mad, trust me, like you've got to understand how the body moves. Allow yourself to just feel it out. Yeah. So come up, up, up. Perfect. Nice. Can you go up? Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is a nice meter. Yeah. Right. Anything you could do. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Any point. Any, any point. If you feel hesitant, just stop. Okay. Yeah. Concentrate him. Yeah. Hey. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. He's 
qualified. He's qualified. He's qualified. <laughs> The, the, the springs don't lie. The springs don't lie. Hey, shut up. The springs tonight. don't lie. <laughs> no, no, you go, Sam. Boom. Boom. Third one messed me up. I lost the rhythm. You're going to sit there, yeah? Uh -huh. And then when you then go up into set, yeah. your hips are just going to come straight up. Uh -huh. Set. And then run out from there. Yeah? As you come up into set here, yeah. you're there. Training done? Not yet. Oh well. Not We're going yet. outside, mate. <laughs> <laughs> We're I going guess outside. That's, that's training style. As many of you know, endurance is not really my thing. I'm all about speed, power, and just smashing. We're gonna try 200 meters now. I've mm. uh, opted out from the 200, so I'm gonna get a 10 meter start, and then hopefully I should be able to finish with them at the end. Finish with them at the end. I'll be knackered for sure, because like I said, endurance is not really my thing. But let's go. Let's It's like, a mad one. Very weird. So what we were doing the other day, so in about eight minutes I'd yeah. go again, but I went a bit quicker now. Okay. But the other day I went went like 24, okay. 23, 22, 22, all within eight minutes. So if you just run 25 there, yeah. imagine going again in eight minutes and having to run faster than that, and then faster than that, and then faster than that. That's like how you condition yeah. your body yeah. to go through the rounds. Tied up a little bit, that's how I just point, made a point of relaxing. Yeah. It's all good fun. We yeah. enjoy ourselves. Really we good. enjoy the lactic. Let's go to show my guys come out. He's tried, put himself in an uncomfortable position. It's fun to be uncomfortable. Literally. I'm an elite world class sprinter. Been in this, doing this a long time. My guys come here, you've seen the hops, you've seen the sprints. My guy can get out of blocks. He's come and done a little 200. Let the lungs breathe, fill the legs with lactic. It's a nice way to end the day. He's done well. He's just gassing, but yeah, much appreciated. <laughs> so guys, that's it. That's it from me today. The best thing about today is actually putting myself in a very uncomfortable uh, position. I am very grateful to have a friend like Harry uh, who lets me into his life. And um, obviously I understand from an athlete point of view, having such a tight schedule and stuff. So I do really appreciate it. Today was fun for me. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it as well. Check in next time for a different sport. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> that's it. I'm done.